Welcome to my presentation of OneDrive Business for Outlook. The first thing we need to do is to install the app for Outlook. Uh, since the app is not published in the App Store yet, we have to copy the link from this page. And then we can switch to Outlook and install the app manually. It's not possible for everyone to install their app. Um, it depends on your exchange settings. But since I'm the exchange administrator of this account, I can install it. Um, but if you can't install, you have to install it from the store. I'll now just quickly show how you install the app from this uh, link you copied. But as I said, if you can install it this way, you should install it from the store. Once the app is installed, you can create a new appointment or create a new email. And from the little app icon on the top, you can select the OneDrive Business for Outlook app. Since it's the first time you load the app, you have to grant the app permission to access your files in OneDrive. And that's done by this little pop-up window where you grant the app access to your files. And you have to say, okay, otherwise it won't work. When you have granted the app consent, it will redirect you to the actual app where you can see all the files in your OneDrive. You can upload new files. And once you click on an existing file, it will add the link to your email body. If you want to set special permissions for your files, so your email recipient can actually access the files, you do so by clicking the share file link or the little lock icon next to the file names.